Hello people, I'm Jabby Kawe. This is my guest Achara Kirk. So we're gonna look at Tar Zamin Par, the trailer, with subtitles. Here we go. Or Tar Tare? Tare? Zamin Par? Yes. That's know. probably it. Probably not. Khan. That's his name. I guess. Oh. <laughs> it's inside it. Oh, cute kid. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Ishan Avasti, two on twenty-five. Ishan Avasti. Three on Listen, you Amir Khan, I was told, is a big philanthropist mm -hmm. in real life. Like, he really tries to help out the Indian community, whatnot, donating and, um, I guess, volunteering. I don't, I'm not exactly sure of the details. I just know he cares a lot and actually puts forth effort to help out. And so this actually makes sense and is in line with his own personal endeavors. Mm -hmm. And so he, I guess the approach is trying to find ways to speak to children in, in the children's tongue. Yeah, I think that's important. Yeah. Some people don't learn the same way that other people do, but it's not fair to call them stupid. Right. You know? That's been a big thing for me is personally. Like, I think that the school systems in general, at least, at least over here, it's just very rigid. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't really adhere to the fact that everyone is born different and kind of works at their own pace. We're all giving these children the same exact curriculum. And it's like, well... I've heard that some children shouldn't be getting up at that hour at the early morning and going to school right away because their brains aren't functional the same way other kids are. Like, mm -hmm. if they were to go to school at, I don't know, 11 in, in the morning as opposed to 8 in the morning, they would actually do significantly better at school. But because of the way the system is, it's not fair to them. Yeah. You know? And we have this big stigma against holding children back as opposed to like letting them work at their own pace. Where, yeah. You know, school's not really a conversational thing. It's like everyone sits behind a desk and you shout at them lessons yeah. as opposed to conversing with them. I've learned more. I, I struggled in school and I learned way more growing up just conversing with people, like mm -hmm. hearing from them. And then that stuck in my, yeah. in my memory more than a teacher just talking at me. And I always thought school would be more interesting is if it was done in a conversational manner. And I heard that there are actually schools here in the States that are experimental like that. And they're mm -hmm. actually doing really well. Yeah. Funding for that is obviously... Yeah, it's not. it's hard, especially, with, I think, for public schools. Yeah. They just don't have the funds sometimes to support give that one-on-one -on -one support that some children need. Right. So, just taking this film on its own merits, I like, I like the message it's sending. The kid is cute. Yes, so cute. He looks like he's pulling off a... He's pulling it off pretty well. The 
kind of downtrodden, beaten up, like, yeah. oh, it sucks. Because he's, he's not really fitting in. He's, he's behind, so to speak, but he's probably s smarter and excels in other ways if someone could just speak to him yeah. at his, in his in language. His language yeah. Yeah. The trailer was obviously really short, so I couldn't really get much out of it other than the ba basic you know, components of the story. He comes in contact with his teacher who really tries to, at least that's what it looks like. Yeah, it, I, <laughs> I was a bit confused because I was like, oh, is he the teacher or is he like- A figment of his imagination. Yeah, or like, is that him when he grows up? Like, that's kind of where my brain went, but I don't know, I'm probably completely wrong. No, that's possible. I mean, either of those, that, that, that all sounds interesting too, if that's where the story goes. Either way, it's got something interesting going on and mm -hmm. has us intrigued. Yes. So, and he's yeah. got his clothes on in this. Wow, you got a good memory. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot all about that. Oh, he's built. Someone got happy. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea that that like that's what he was gonna look we're, like on We're just gonna clothes. leave it, we're just gonna leave it right there for Achara. <laughs> she gets blush blush red. <laughs> Look at her face! <laughs> but, no, but why is he naked? I don't know. <laughs> and he's so strong! Yeah. Oh my god! That was Achara a, doesn't forget. That was a, <laughs> Achara doesn't forget a naked body. She's only seen two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, you guys. Please follow Achara on the social media. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And check out other reactions, especially... Um, Achara's reaction of PK. Was it PK? I can't yeah, I remember. I think so, yeah. What's it? Yeah. It's probably PK. All right, uh, I'm Javi Koi. This is... Achara Kirk. Peace out. Wow, I cannot believe you were called that. What a way to bring that back. <laughs> <laughs> you know. That was like the end Just... of a good sketch. <laughs>